Good morning, good morning. This is your host, Sahar Andrade, and this is, believe it or not, our fifth day of the assertiveness experience, or our last day. I can't believe that five days uh, just went by so quick. Uh, today is the last day of the experience. Hopefully, uh, you got something out of whatever we went through the last four days, and we will try to wrap it up today. First, let me say good morning, and again, it's Sunday morning, so I really appreciate you taking the time of being here with me today. Uh, so thank you, uh, Don, Marie, and Mary, Patty, Erica, Kim, Rihanna, Bill, Sarah, Sam, and Jim. Thank you so much. And as you know, I just had taken only 10 people during this experience because I wanted to tend more uh, on one on one uh, through this experience. So, thank you for your emails. Thank you for your comments. I really, really do appreciate it. So, today let's uh, try to go um, through a, a couple of more slides today here. And um, so we can wrap up the whole experience. <clears throat> So last night or yesterday, what we did is we talked about what really, really stops us from change. It's the fear, no matter how we call it. And what I talked about, I talked how we can face fear. I give you steps on how to face fear. And then we went into solutions. Uh, I had 10 ways of or on getting more assertive. That doesn't mean that you have to do all of them together, but you can choose one, you can choose two, you can choose three, you can alternate between them, is whatever works for you. The most important thing is that, that you start applying that, not just attending a webinar, oh, it was good, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, and that tomorrow never comes. Like I always say, ideas and intentions and whatever will stay, intentions will stay ideas till they are executed. So please, please try to do it. <clears throat> the now, what what is it that we're gonna do now? I mean, you spent four days already, and this is the fifth day, you know, to attend this experience. What did you decide? Are you gonna stay put in wherever you are or you decided to move forward? I'm talking to you, yes, to you. What are you going to do? Are you going to start the path of being assertive? Or you're just going to try to do it a couple of days and like all New Year's resolution, it will go away in a couple of weeks. It depends on you, not on anyone else. It's a choice. It's your choice. Are you just going to take the easy way out? And in a year from now, you're going to be in the same position trying to have another resolution, still miserable and still not happy with whatever is going on with your life. Or you wanna, you're going to start taking baby steps to move forward. It's about baby steps. It's not tiny little actions, even if they are imperfect, as long as they are action. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Where do you see yourself? in a week, in a month, in a year, in two years, in three years, in five years? Do you have that vision already planned? Do you see yourself as a happy person, as a grateful person, as giving person, as a kind person? And you could be all that, but it's not the surface because you are kept down by chains of wanting to be nice to everybody. And remember, niceness always for niceness, there is always a price to pay. <clears throat> and remember, whenever you say some, to something, yes to something, you're saying no to something else. Your personal transformation, how are you visioning? How, what is the next version of you, the better you, the upgraded version of you? Or you're going to be someone that you couldn't even imagine that you could reach there for god's sake every few years three to five years we change a car we update our cars we get the next versions to our cars but we deny ourselves the same courtesy think about that where are you going from here i want you to just 
Take a deep breath in and out three times. Close your eyes and try to imagine yourself in a better place, better feeling, better person, how you're going to evolve. And once you get that vision that will be concrete, like in your hand, you can start to work on it, to realize it and make it happen. Your vision of who you want to become is just the beginning. So go and start creating it now not in an hour not in a day not in a week now it's such an incredible power that you're gonna feel and only human beings that we are possess that skill and that gift thinking alone about things that might or can happen it will not change you you need to start executing it so are you going to find all the excuses why you are the way you are and find yourself over and over and over trapped in the same way or you're going to start living from the possibilities not impossibilities are you going to start living from the positive not the negative the past does not equal the present or the future and you're not defined by your past so invest more time mentally about what you want to create rather just to go on automatic repetition of everything you have been doing on autopilot just thinking about the past and only if i had only if i did only if i built whatever it is remove as if please if please remove that at this i would do this no you have what you have today start working with it what you resist persist remember that what you resist persist document your wins journal everything at, at every single little win reward yourself no matter how that reward looks like to you so what to do next we talked about everything we needed to talk more or less about assertiveness i mean not in great details but at least like i promised you i'm i was just gonna put you on the beginning of the path to make you more assertive find your tribe meaning find the people that will support you get rid of toxicity in your life get rid of the energy vampires get rid of the naysayers only you can know what you can do and what you can do only you can push forward not them get as much support as you can even if you have to go out of your comfort zone sometimes family loves you but they hinder you because they reflect everything with them on you. But you are your own individual, so you need to keep going forward one step at a time. You will slip and it's fine. Pick up the pieces and keep going on. A slip is not a fall. <clears throat> what to do next? What happens if you really want to change but don't know where to start or don't even know what to do? Or where to start or you tried something before but it didn't have a plan or uh, it didn't have enough uh, guideline or discipline so you didn't it's like you didn't succeed and you get stuck and you kind of give it up because oh i tried it and it didn't work i have few options for you here Try it on your own and see what happens. And if you feel like you need more help, I'm here for you. I will help you go to where you are destined to reach. I'll be there step by step, reachable, so you don't have to be alone. How can I do that? I actually have few options for you. Option one, I'm forming a paying coaching group that goes beyond just getting to be assertive it, we go into self-esteem and self-confidence and how you transform your own caterpillar to become a butterfly it will help you build your self-esteem and self-confidence the group is four months because i want to make sure that whatever you learn as new habits you're going to take your time 
step by step, slowly, till it becomes ingrained inside your brain, inside your body, inside your logic, inside your mind, everything that it becomes part of you. The catch here is that I'm accepting only 15, and I already have some people signed up. It will start the last week of February 2019. Every week, we will have a webinar get together where we can talk, you can uh, in the discussion, I can unmute you, we can have discussions back and forth of a minimum an hour, and it can go up to two hours. I will offer you homework every week with blueprints, cheat sheets, and exercises. And the best part is that you are going to be part of my exclusive by invitation on the Facebook group, where I'm going to be sharing little jewels about how to become better, how to reinvent yourself to greatness. I will have trainings, I will have uh, guests from different fields that are experts in their own domain and that will help you and answer some of your questions. Most of all, we're going to be a tribe helping each other to move forward. Option number two, uh, my digital online courses will be released end of February. So I'm going to have one for assertiveness. It will only just be to put you in details on the path to assertiveness. But you will also have access to me for two 30 minutes coaching calls, one in the beginning when you purchase and one when you finish the course so we can go through everything you learned and basically put a strategy for your future. You will also be granted two emails contact with me uh, per month. You study on your own at your own convenience and at your own pace. But what also I'm offering you to encourage you to take that very courageous step. I will offer you my self-motivation guide, which is valued at $297. And I also will invite you to be part of my very exclusive by invitation only Facebook group, where, we, where again, we're going to be your tribe, we have trainings, we have resources that is going to help you maintain. Remember the five stages of change? Where it will help you preserve whatever progress you have got. Option three, or the last option, we can choose to be one on one uh, coaching client with me. So we will have a weekly 90 minutes coaching calls one on one. We'll go, of course, beyond assertiveness. We will help you strategize your whole life in front of you. We will put a strategy to help you get wherever you dreamed even to be. We, one weekly email, we will have guides, blueprints, cheat sheets, exercises. And I will offer you the free blueprint to self-motivation and starter guide to goal setting. Both each of value of $297 by two. And I'm also going to invite you to be part of my exclusive by invite only Facebook group. We're going to become your tribe, where you can preserve your success on moving forward, where we're going to have support, interviews, training, whatever you will need to make sure that you are going to be standing on your own two feet this way. You can pay it forward to other people and impact other people's life and help other people. Do not stand on the edge of your glory. What are you choosing to do? Are you going to invest in yourself because you are your best asset? Or you're just going to be contemplating from the sideline? Are you going to take a step and join me on how to become a better version of you? Because you're already complete. You are already worthy. You are already enough. But how to get it out, this is what I'm going to help you, guide you to find your light from inside. You can, by the way, schedule a complimentary self-discovery session with me today. And let's find out if we are a fit. 
I will accept again only 15 in my coaching group. And I, as, as I already said, some seats have already been taken. Some people already signed up for it. So to reach me for to schedule a complimentary self-discovery session, you go HTTPS forward slash forward slash www dot sahar andradi dot you can book me dot me i'm going to leave this on the screen for a second so you can copy it again what are you going to do everything starts and ends with you you are the master of universe i have been there that's why i can help guide you through that path it's like a tunnel that you're going to go through, a dark, cold tunnel. I don't want you to be by yourself. I will be right there with you till we end to the end of the tunnel where the sunshine is great, where we can hear the wind and we can see the trees and we can look at the greenery and we're just going to be in heaven because we will be who we are always were destined to be i have been there on both sides and i know how to do it so are you going to choose option one option two option three or option stand still where you don't believe in yourself where you're still going to be in status quo where you are today where you're not happy where you're not content where you don't feel like you are doing your life's message and your life's purpose on, on this earth. Which one are you going to choose? If you choose one, two, or three, you can either call me for a self-discovery so we can see again if you are a fit, or you can email me at info at reinventyourselftogreatness.com. And by, by the way, just to schedule a complimentary discovery um, session with me i will send you a free gift something that you can keep in your arson that you can just use for your future that is probably valued 250 250 dollars or more just to schedule a self-discovery complimentary session what do you choose to do this is sahar and Radi, and it has been my utmost pleasure to have shared my mornings with you for the last five days thank you for being here even on your weekends that tells me that you're really serious to change and if you're looking at the recording right now you need to think what is it that you want to achieve do you want to stay still and complain about what's going on and being miserable so next year in the same time or three years in the same time you will be exactly where you are today though inside of you you have that fire burning knowing that you are destined for a lot better than that you know that you have all the skills and talents inside of you you just need to open the door to let them out i will help you not only open the door but force the door open where all your gifts that were destined for you to be there be used a hundred percent where not only you're going to impact your own life but you're going to impact other people's lives as well i hope this five days assertiveness experience helped you look at the world in a little bit of a different way i wish you all the best i do believe that we all have a genius and we all have a light inside of us no matter who we are we have all the answers inside of us so let's get this light out let's help each other let's be a tribe for each other let's help that light out not only to lighten up our path but to lighten up the path for others that are coming after us i wish you peace I wish you love, I wish you kindness, I wish you abundance, I wish you gratitude. And before I leave and I go, I wanted to always remind you to say 
I am love. I am kindness. I am wealth. I am gratitude. I am worthy. I am enough. I love you all. This is Sahar Andrade. Till we meet again. I hope our path will cross again. Bye for now. Love you all.